and welcome to our lesson on expectation. We're going to calculate an expected frequency using a probability. A pin lands point up 30 times out of 50 throws. From this information, we can estimate an, an experimental probability of the probability of it landing point up. The desired outcomes is 30 out of our sample of 50. We can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 10. And that would make three fifths. Now, for the sake of calculating an expectation, I'm going to write it as a decimal. So three fifths, I know, can be written as six over 10, because I'm multiplying both the numerator and denominator by two. And six divided by 10 at the decimal is 0.6. I could also have just done three divided by five on a calculator, and that would get me the same. To calculate the expected frequency of it landing point up after 120 throws. So three fifths of the 120 throws, we know it should land point up. And we can write the three fifths of the decimal, not 0.6, of in mathematics means times, and that is 120. And not 0.6 times 120 is 72. So this is our expected frequency. That's not an exact value, but it is something that we should expect to happen. For question B, of the 350 throws, well, that would be 0 0.6, which is the experimental probability of it landing point up, of, which means times 350, which is our new sample. And that comes out as 210. So we would expect it to land point up 210 times. For question C, we have the experimental probability, 0 0.6, multiplied by the sample, 125, and we would expect it to land point up 75 times. Okay, calculate the expected frequency of it landing point down now, so this is different to point up after 200 throws. Well, if it landed point up 30 times, the probability of it landing point down would be the 20 times it landed point down over the sample, which is 50. This simplifies to make two fifths. And as a decimal, this is 0.4. So we have the experimental probability of 0.4 multiplied by our sample of 200 and this is 80 times so we would expect it to land point down 80 times and for question e that would be our experimental probability multiplied by the sample and that would be 400. okay let's try the next question paul carried out a survey about crisps he asked 100 people their favourite flavour. Calculate the expected frequency of people who liked ready salted when 300 and 1,000 people were surveyed. Do you want to try questions A and B by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the experimental probability as a decimal. So a probability of choosing ready salted is 34 people out of a sample of 100 and as a decimal this is 0 0.34 of the 300 people who are surveyed 0 0.34 multiplied by the sample 300 will choose ready solid and this is 102 people so again, this is what you would expect. It's not an exact figure, but it is an expectation of 102 people choosing ready solid. And for 1,000 people, the experimental probability multiplied by the sample, and that would be 340 people. 
you want to pause the video and try question C? And you can unpause it when you're ready. Okay, to calculate the expected frequency of people who did not like smoky bacon when 500 was surveyed. Well, we know 12 people did like smoky bacon. So no that did not would be the sample. Take away no that did. And that would be 88 people. So the probability of not smoky bacon would be 88 divided by the sample of 100, which is 0.88 as a decimal. So the experimental probability is 0.88 multiplied by the sample of 500, and you would expect 440 people to not choose smoky bacon. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.